Hey guys, Lovely Plum Bob here and welcome to my review slash overview of everything in Build and Buy Mode which was added with the brand new Sims 4 Vampires Game Pack. So first out, thank you so much to EA who went and sent me early access to the Game Pack so I could go ahead and make some early videos for you guys and get them all ready for release. So if you didn't already, The Sims 4 Vampires is out tomorrow, the 24th of January. For you guys, I can go ahead and play this brand new awesome game pack. So as well as this video, I've also made a CAS video on everything in it, as well as a Forgotten Hollow tour and an upcoming Let's Play Machinima. So if you want to go and check out all of those, I'll leave the link down in the description. They'll be in the cards in the video and also at the end of the video. So today I'm going to get in, check out everything in build and buy mode, have a look at it all and basically get really excited because the gothic items look so cool. So first up, I'm going to go have a look at the brand new starred room. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and filter it by the brand new Vampires game pack. And how many do we have? We have three, six, we have seven brand new rooms. So first up is the Antique Lavatory, 5,731 simoleons. So here we have a very like gothic, old fashioned bathroom. It's got like these paintings here. And also I love this toilet, the chain toilet. It's so, so cool. Next up we have Anthem's Chambers, which is at 7,274 simoleons. So this is like a secret hideout chamber. Well, it, for a vampire it's probably a bedroom actually because of its coffin. But it's got some really cool gothic statues, all the wall effects and in the mirror. Next up we have the an Antiquated Bed Chamber at 11,075 simoleons. Now this is a gothic themed bedroom. I absolutely love the patterns on the floor and the walls as well as the bed. It's so cool. And of course, look, we have a modern iron radiator. Which I've so next up we have the Assonance of Darkness at 6,555 simoleons. So this one's kind of a space dedicated to the organ. So it's kind of like a drawing room or a music room, whatever you want to call it. Again, I love the wallpapers on it. It's so cool. It's like bats in like um, a big tree and that's all, you know, fitting in with the gothic feel. It's so, so cool and I love it. Next up, we have the Refined Den at 10,431 simoleons. So this room is so cool. It's kind of like a gothic living room. It's got a really nice fireplace and it's got, of course, the brand new bar, which is really, really nice. Next up, we have the Hall of Devouring at 7,997 simoleons. So this is a gothic dining room, which is lovely. It's so cool. I love the cobwebs and the, um, you know, the photographs on here. And I also love the fact that this wallpaper has got like, it's like broken. Um, basically, it's a wall hole, so you can place it anywhere, which I absolutely love. And then also just the really cool gothic curtains. It's so cool. <laughs> Then last but not least, we have the Immortal Resting Grounds at 6,704 simoleons. So this, of course, is like a graveyard for your vampires. <laughs> so now to have a look at all the build section, basically, in the brand new pack. So first up, we have two brand new, uh, I think they're called frezzies. I'm, I'm not sure. Basically, I just know them as the thing you put on the walls. <laughs> but basically, if you make a two floor um, room or... Well, let me just let's just make this into a room quickly and and then you add the second floor to it basically if you go onto them add tall level height ah you actually need a really tall level height and um, you can put them on so these like come off the walls here so we got this one and we have this one which again fits in with the gothic so for wall patterns we have one two three four five six seven eight i think brand new ones yes we do so first up, we have these ones, which are really cool because I love these new patterns. How many are in this one? Or are these, these? Ah, you can get like clear versions of it. Uh, what else? You can get white ones. Uh, and then for the next wallpaper, it's similar again, but just a different pattern. And then the same with the next one. Then we have this wooden field one with like really, really cool like little symbols and that in here. Then we have basically new bricked so we have like the regular brick one and then we have this one here which has accent ends on it then we have this type of wallpaper which is one of my favorites with the bats and the trees and that again comes in so many cool colors as you can see here and then we have lastly we have this one which is the vertical bat motif which is this patterned one which is really really cool 
So of course to go alongside we have some brand new floor patterns which are very very similar in effect with those ones. So as you can see there's some really cool pattern flooring ones so there's like this one here and then we have this flowery one as well which I really really love. Also have some brand new tiles, we have these ones which are very hypnotising <laughs> and then we have these ones as well. We have a brand new stone floor which I really really like and then we have two brand new wooden floorings. So we have this one that kind of goes diagonally and then we have this one that has swirly patterns in it. It's like this so you can make like effects like you know like that in the middle of wooden floors. Next up of course we have some brand new doors. So we have these two here. I really like this one with the archway. And then of course we have a brand new archway if I place that down. Uh, which is really nice and I love like the little little dragon like kind of <laughs> goblin effects they put on those. And then we have this massive door here which follows the same little theme. So now for windows and we have lots. So we have this one and I like the fact that you have like this is like for the outside and then the inside they have like a really really cool pattern which of course links in with the wallpapers they had. So we also have this one which is just like a smaller version as you can see here. Then we have, I think these are all similar, but they're just different wall heights. So let's place them all down. Uh, we have these ones. Here we go. Actually, no, they're all the same wall height, but they've just got different patterns on them. And that's the outside kind of version. And this is like the inside. Actually, no, I think that's the inside version. That's the outside, because you kind of want the flashy bit to be on the outside. So for wall decorations, we have lots. So let's try not bulldoze that. Let's just bulldoze the windows. Um, these of course are all the ivy and like um, cobwebs and that to go with the you know gothic ruined feel. So these are all really really cool. You can get thorns, you can get the ivy. Because I know originally what I used to do was um, get plants and just basically use um, moo to move them so it looks like it was ivy but now we actually have ivy. Also we have some brand new gargoyles. This one, ah, that's the word I was looking for, gargoyles, not like goblins and devils, <laughs> like dragons. But we have that one, I wonder if they come in, ah oh, yeah, lots of lots of cool colours. Then we have this brand new wall fountain, with a gargoyle on it again. Let's have a look at colours, ah, cool. And then last but not least, we have the hanging werewolf wall jumper, which is like a massive gargoyle. Let me just clear some space for it to fit, actually. <laughs> Here it is, it's so cool, and it's so freaky, but it's just so cool. And uh, let's have a look, see if it's that changes. Ah, no, so, so their little house at the top can change and all the different colours. But yeah, I really, really like that. So we have some brand new fences. So we have this one, which is like a very, very tall iron Victorian fence. Then we have this one, which is kind of like suitable for indoors. I think this one as well. Yeah, it's kind of like suitable for indoors. And then we have this one, which is like a fence again, similar to like this one, but it's like slightly smaller. To go along with that, of course, we have some gates. We have this massive gate. Like, I mean massive. This is going to be so cool for like the massive mansion houses people have made. Next up, we have some brand new stair railings. So let's just go ahead and place some stairs down. And let's have a look at these. So I'm just going to filter to packs. So first up, we have these, similar to the iron railings I just showed you. Um, we have these ones with link with it as well as some more like wooden field effect ones which I really really like and I like how you know it all stays with the gothic theme. Next up we have two brand new um, columns so we have these two right here which can fit in with the massive mansion houses I know people are going to go ahead and make. Next up we have one brand new roof line um, which of course fits in here with the gothic theme. So for outdoor plants, we have a few. So we have the brand new tri dry pine tree. So it's kind of like a pine tree dying. Then we have the scraggly tree. We have the death hawthorn tree. Whoa, this is massive. Let's put it there. Ah, that's so cool. Then we have the bear pine tree. And then we have some thorns, which can go on our floors, as well as some bushes, and then a new fern. Now, I love the fact that we have so many dying trees now, because we didn't have any originally, like, we didn't have that many. Well, I don't think we had any at all, actually. But now, of course, we've got them, because it fits in with the really cool gothic. And then, last but not least, we have three brand new uh, chimneys, well, wall accessories for rooms. So let me just go and place a room down, and let's have a look. So we have, oh, we have the werewolf gargoyle again. 
uh, but to go on our roofs, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> and then we have this um, window roof doma here. And then we have, last but not least, this roof vent. So that's everything in buy mode, and it's so cool, some of the stuff. I can, I can just see it now, the really cool mansion houses that people are gonna make. So now for everything in the buy side of build and buy mode. So first up, we have beds. So we have this one main massive like gothic themed bed which I really really like the colours of as you can see here they're so cool some of them and you can get like the wallpaper wall pattern so it like fits in. Also of course there are brand new coffins which is specially for vampires and these are really cool so you can get like old like rotting ones but then you can get really really cool like gothic rich ones. Next up we have chairs galore again all fitting in with the gothic theme. Then we have two brand new counters, so we have this counter and then we have the counter which you know you can use as an island, as well as we have a brand new wall cabinet here. Then of course we have the brand new organ, which I'm going to kind of focus on in live mode so you guys can go and check that out in my LP, and as also we have a bar. Now for bathroom things we have a brand new bath, a really cool chain toilet which I absolutely love, a sink and then a brand new towel. Now I really love the fact that loads of these gothic items, as you guys can see here, the colours all fit with the wallpapers so you can make it all match. Then we have some brand new tables. Now this is one of my favourite things, we have so many new wall decorations to make it look like the house is rotting or being destroyed. So as you can see here there's loads of brand new ones, there's like cobwebs, cracks, there's holes in the wall, I absolutely love it. Next up we have some brand new paintings and photos and also we have this really really cool like, you know like the cotton tapestry, you know, wall decorations you can get. Also, of course, they change uh, depending on which star you choose, so you can choose what goes in them. So as you can see here, there's all different ones, and like these ones as well. And then of course we have a brand new gothic mirror. Then we have a freestanding mirror, as well as these brand new curtains. And now this is some of my favourite things, we have all of these brand new podiums and statues. Now, there's some podiums on their own of like the ones which are linked with a statue on the top but then also you can get ones which automatically have statues on like these ones and then you can get them just individually like this. Then we have some brand new lamps and lights. We have this adorable brand new vampire teddy bear which I absolutely love. We have a new brand new basket as well as a brand new cabinet. Next up we have the radiators and the little book thing to go with the organ which I love. Then we have a brand new fireplace as well as these two new decorations. For rugs I love the fact that now they've included this rug where you can customise it yourself like how big it is. As you can see here they've got like custom ends and then they have here like custom runners. So you can really like make it however you want and it's so so cool. So as you can see here I can do it like for however long I need it to be because of course some of the mansions have like massive rooms. And I really love the fact you can customise your own rug now sort of thing. And then of course we have this one which has got so many cool new patterns on it. To link in with the statues we have some gravestones. Then we have some more lights. We have these new like, um, oh, what, what do you call them, you know, chandeliers. That was the word. We've got these two here and then we've got these, like, these wall candles. Then we have a brand new, of course, wardrobe. And then we have this little um, uh, clock here. And then that is everything in buy mode. Now overall I love everything and I mean everything what was included in build and buy mode. If you love anything gothic you will love this. Now um, I really want to get vampires of course because of vampires but of course just for the brand new gothic themed items which just look amazing and I literally cannot wait to get in build and buy mode and start making some gothic you know rooms and houses because it looks so cool. Build and buy mode, I'd definitely give like 9 out of 10, it's amazing some of the stuff in here and I absolutely love it. Um, I would say there's a reasonable amount for game packs, it's amazing like the amount of stuff they've included but of course I need more gothic items, it's so so cool. And I know it is only a game pack but I, I, you know, if this was an expansion I can imagine there would be so much gothic stuff and I would literally be dying. But I'm so so happy with the stuff they included in the game pack when it comes to gothic build and buy mode items. Like I said, I definitely love these stats and I love the adorable little dragon, <laughs> um, not dragon, little dragon vampire cuddly. So, so thank you so much for watching, let me know down in the comments what you think about everything in build and buy mode. 
Don't forget you can go ahead and check out my cast video as well as my tour of the brand new Forgotten Hollow as well as my LP. Links all down in the description, end of the video and in the cards. So thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and if you subscribe don't forget to press the little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever I do upload a video. So I will see you guys very very soon, bye!